Okay guys, so this is Sarah from the Frugal Bear and Bear Made Crafts. This is take two <laughs> on doing a, a wave. Um, my first attempt failed horribly. Um, I did not scrape the canvas. I will possibly post a picture of my failed wave <laughs> at the end of this video. So we're gonna try again because I think I know what I did wrong. My paints were too thick, I had too much paint. So, help me Molly, hope I can get through this. So I'm going to move my camera up, sorry about that. And we'll go over our color. So we have um, a little bit of dark blue mixed with um, black. We have a metallic, blue here, They're just a little thick still. We have turquoise, turquoise blue by Liquitex. Um, the other two are from Artist Loft. Um, we have my house paint mixture here. Um, and we have metallic ice blue here and in the last one we had used this powder blue and I might still put a little bit in there but um, not nearly as much it's a little purpley for what I need so each of these colors is going to get just a drop or two of silicone two one, two one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All except for our white, which is here. So we're going to attempt this again and not have nearly as much paint this time, hopefully. Make sure my sides are all covered here. All right. And we're going to tilt. Get as much of that white off as possible. It's not doing much of anything, is it? are going to try this again and hope and pray that we get better results than last time so okay Probably a little bit more paint than I want, huh? It only takes me about 85 tries to get something right. 
I'm not a quick learner. Okay, move on to our house paint. Let me start this up here. Bondor Ice Blue, which is kind of thick, so I want to be careful. We kind of like the ice blue in there. And then this one here, I think we're just going to maybe drizzle a little. side just a little bit more all right so we're going to attempt this again find my paper towel one started off okay like this certainly did not end okay so I'm not getting my hopes up <laughs> that I haven't screwed this up yet so Take this around this way. Try not to drip. And back around that way. all the way down to the canvas there. I just can't do anything graceful. I have to cause a problem. Well, it's looking pretty mucky here. So what do we do? What do we need to do to fix it? We need to maybe stop fiddling with it. I wrecked it. I totally, totally wrecked it. So we're going to come back through here. Like that. Put that dark blue in again. Put that there. We're going to see if we can't fix this.
Well, it could always be worse. You know, I think I will probably leave this kind of painting to the pros. Just stay away from the silicone and the swipes and everything like that. We're going to fiddle just a little bit, the stupid silicone. Well, I think I've learned my lesson that um, waves are not my thing and not to attempt them. I do need to try to salvage this part over here. There we go. Take you down for a close-up. All right, so this gave me way too much anxiety. But all in all, I don't think it turned out horrible. It's just definitely not my forte. It's this section up in here, this sweeping around that I just cannot get at all. So there's my attempt at a wave. Will I attempt it again? Probably someday. We'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so this is one of my dried pieces. This was a 11 by 14 traveling um, ring pour. My husband actually says it looks better like this and he thinks it's waves crashing onto um, a cliff, but I kind of think that's backwards. But anyways, um, we've got some nice gold in there. reds and blues with some gold there as well. And I will link the video to this painting up in the corner right about now so you can take a look. <laughs> 